In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make your 3D print 10 times stronger. Welcome to my new Discord. Have you ever wanted to speak to the person you've been watching? Well, now is your chance. If you just sign up to Patreon today, you can get yourself into this Discord. This is the most exclusive club. And if you would like benefits like three channels for you to post in, then don't dally, you little Sally. Make sure to sign up below and don't miss out. If you ever felt like you needed to speak to me about your painting, or you had an idea but you weren't quite sure if it was going to work, make sure to join the Patreon and if you do, you'll get access to those three channels in which I will spend my time to make sure that I can help you with some of your projects in the future. This is something that I had figured out by watching a couple of other YouTubers and also looking through the forums on the internet. What I had read is that some people were mixing resins to make certain resins a little bit stronger, perhaps more flexible than others. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you can use to make your prints a million times stronger. So what I've done is I printed two miniatures. One miniature I printed with the standard resin. The other miniature I printed with the standard resin and my mix. I need to make a video about you. Why are you breaking already? These are the two miniatures that I printed. These miniatures are from Cast and Play. There is going to be a link in the description below for Cast and Play's Patreon. If you're interested in these kind of miniatures or things like this, please be sure to check them out. As I was doing the intro for this video, I'd already snapped one of the parts of this model. As we all know, resin prints are very fragile, and if you make parts that are really skinny, they can snap quite easily. While I was doing the intro for this video, I snapped the part, but I'm going to show you exactly how I make that 10 times stronger. These two parts were printed, one in standard resin and the other with my resin mix. This is a standard resin, this is my mix. Standard resin, this is my mix. Again, this is the standard resin, this is my mix. And just so you can see the detail level, there's no detail lost, at least not much detail lost, in using the resin mix that I'm going to show you guys in this video. In order to make this magical resin mix, I'm going to show you the products you need for this. One times standard resin, and one times Soriatech Tenacious. This bottle has already been mixed with the Tenacious, and what I like to do is I take a brand new bottle of resin and I fill the rest of the bottle up with the Tenacious. It's roughly about 150 milliliters to the 1 kg that you get in the bottle already. This tiny amount makes the difference. So this is a brand new bottle of resin. My resin of choice is Nova 3D. I prefer the Nova 3D standard resins over most other resins as it's not an expensive resin but it does the job very well as well as supports come off fairly easily and the resin itself is already slightly flexible even before we add this tenacious to it. So what we do is we open the resin, then we give the bottle of tenacious a good shake. We want to make sure that all the resin has been mixed up thoroughly inside that bottle. Carefully open the bottle and fill up your new resin bottle with the Tenacious until it reaches just underneath the rim of the top. Make sure to close your bottles completely and give that a solid shake. Now before we put this in the printer, you want to make sure that you let it settle so that there isn't bubbles in the resin. Because if there are bubbles, you can have some fails in your prints. So once this bottle of resin has settled and the bubbles have left, you are ready to use this in your printer. The settings usually don't change from whatever your settings were currently for the standard resin that you're originally using. And if they do, it will be marginal changes and you should do a couple of exposure tests before you run your next biggest print. And as for thank yous, all you have to do is make sure to give a like on the video and if you found that information helped you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future updates. And it's that time of the video where I mention my new patrons. I'd like to say a special thanks for all the support from my patrons over the last two months. And in saying that, I have two new patrons which I need to shout out. Gustavo Medeiros and James Cannon. Ciao! As well as all the other people you see on the screen now. And as usual at this time of the video, there's only one thing left to say. 
Ho!